Okay, short summary of the last last lab, which we have we have the initialization of the UART. We definitely initialize the variables. What are the parameters? In our case, it was different bout rate and the different UART. We init the UART. During the initialization, the UART uh, store the init structure into registers. But we also call the callback from the MSP init. You know it in the msp.c file. We initialize the rated peripheries, which are the GPO pins. And also we enable the clocks. And then we leave the init init function on the end. Definitely in the MSP init, we discovering which instance trigger the, trigger the initialization and we initialize the correct pins from this. And definitely on the end, when we start calling the transmit and receive, don't forget the transmit and receive is the blocking function. The hour code will stop there until the function end with the OK or with the error or with the timeout. Don't forget on this and always check the return parameters like we talked before. And how this, this work from the inside? We first initialize the periphery, this is clear. Then we call the receive, for example. Then we s this set inside the, the handle, the busy, sta busy state. We check if the timeout expire. If, if uh, yes, then we end with the timeout. If not, we check if the error happened. If not, if yes, we end with the error. If not, we continue. And we will check if the rec uh, uh, receiving uh, register is empty. If 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 it's em empty, then we continue checking the, the errors and also if the register is empty. But if it's not empty, if we receive the byte, then we move this, this byte into the Rx buffer, which we selected in the handle. We increment the number of the receiving bytes. It's now we receive one byte. And we checking if we receive all the bytes which we wanted with the, with the X first size. If no, then we start again from the beginning. If yes, we can end with the with the HL OK status. And this is example how the pooling pooling uh, works on the in the HL library. You see, this is definitely blocking function because we always need to check the the state of the periphery, which is not effective. But in case that we have nothing else to do, it can be option. But in case we need to do something in background, the pooling, it's not correct, a good option for us.